today's session is going to be very interesting uh, so do watch till the end <laughs> Well, hello and welcome to this session from Pexetics.com on how to identify the right candidate. So let's begin with the basic concept of what is profiling. Now, as we know that people are made up of certain qualities or what we call in HR lingo as traits. These traits comprise to make up what we call as a personality profile, which means someone could be uh, very extroverted, very commanding and yet very caring uh, about uh, their team members. Uh, they could be a, a very generous person or uh, someone who is very blunt and very practical uh, on the face. All of this that you hear are basically trying to explain the profile of a person, uh, the attitudes and behaviors of a person. So how does this uh, make a difference in hiring for a particular role? So let's understand this fact that whenever we are hiring, we are hiring for a particular role. Now, the common uh, uh, available tools uh, in the market on profiling assessments are focused on telling you how the person in general is. It bears absolutely no uh, predictability to fitting the person into a job role. That's where Pexitest comes to make a difference. And that's what our philosophy is, is to not look at profiling, but to look at fitment to the job role as a philosophy, as a practice. So let me today take you through three key differences uh, between a profiling test versus a fitment test. So the first uh, issue is what we have already discussed, which is the difference between personal versus professional. Personally, I could have a lot of qualities um, which may have absolutely no uh, effect or very little effect uh, to, the, uh, to my working attitudes. Secondly, uh, the same uh, qualities may be good enough for probably all roles. Like I often hear uh, people say the leader should be empathetic and it makes me laugh a bit because ideally every human should be empathetic. It is not only limited to leaders, which means it's a quality which should be there across everyone. Why only leaders? Right? I hope you agree with me. Uh, please leave your comments below uh, to tell me what you think about this particular point of mine. Now, Let's look at some of the most famous ones. So there are four famous ones. One is of course Big Five, which is basically not a test, but a framework. Uh, those who have not heard about it can reach out to me. Let me know if you want me to talk about the Big Five. Uh, then there's the MBTI, which is very, very famous and very, very impractical in the sense that it is reliable, but it is not uh, practical. In the sense MBTI itself, sometimes confesses that fitment when it comes to fitment to the role MBTI should be taken only at 33 percent which means that if the are if you are measuring 100 percent of a role the weightage you should apply for MBTI is only 33 percent to the results of an MBTI or to consider MBTI traits as a determinant to the role fitment and then the third is the Thomas profiling which is the disc Disk again is uh, reliable, valid, but not predictable as far as job roles are concerned. Now, why is it so? As I already mentioned that they talk about the persona and these personas could fit into multiple roles. The fact that empathy could should be a 
uh, natural human trait, the fact that being generous, uh, not being rude are very gener generic qualities. So hence they do not align well to the professional role that we play in the workplace. In the workplace we are required to take decisions, we are required to manage teams, we are required to negotiate, we are required to uh, 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 reduce conflict manage conflicts. So uh, all of this are qualities which are slightly beyond the persona. Of course, the persona affects it. But these are traits which are over and above what uh, a persona could be uh, determinant of. Uh, if you look through this uh, uh, image here, what you'll notice is that it talks about uh, quite a high amount of reliability uh, and predictability for the big five but uh, talks very little um, the uh, research papers are in fact quoted over here you can see them for yourself uh, compare that to the seven a's framework exhibited here this is uh, pexitic's own proprietary uh, framework it's a global competency framework which looks at the two dimensions of individual contribution which is which is the role discipline versus the responsibility orientation. Now, what you'll notice here is that as you turn into senior roles or as you move into different roles, there are different levels of competency that you require. Those who are interested further in understanding the importance of both competencies and uh, our uh, competency framework, I'll leave an eye link uh, up for you to uh, go and visit. Uh, both of them on I'll also put them uh, probably in the description below so please uh, do visit them if you're inter interested in understanding them further and what you will notice here is that here we are not talking of humane qualities but rather workplace qualities we are talking of workplace competencies and which not only limit uh, are limited to personality traits but also explore the cognitive traits like analysis and interpretation uh, like uh, people management like um, uh, enterprising qualities right so what you can do with this framework is that you can use it uh, both for very very specific roles and also for the maturity of the role so that brings us to the point number two. Point number two is about fitment to role and level. Now, if you look at typically any of the uh, profiling tests, they do not, first of all, tell you whether they fit into a particular uh, job role. They also ignore the fact that each job role could have multiple levels within the organization. So what we do here is we look at fitment from the perspective of a, not only the job role but also the level of the job role to say which all qualities would be required in slightly higher extent as you go up the ladder and which all qualities make you much more fitter to a say for example a senior operations role versus a senior uh, strategic or uh, business development role. In fact, what we do with our customers is that we provide them with benchmarks uh, so that you are very easily able to understand the right score. This is calibrated on a con continuous basis uh, so that it becomes very effective when you use it as a hiring mandate. Do reach out to us if you want to use some of our tests uh, for your hiring uh, requirements. And of course, identifying the right candidate. The third fact is about limited scalability. Why are we talking about limited scalability? Limited scalability means that a personality profiling test, first of all, is typically a legacy test, which means it has been built like by uh, Myers and Briggs or by um, uh, Marshall Goldsmith or by uh, some other uh, person and there's a limitation that you cannot tinker with it so the traits are not fungible 
they cannot be trade they cannot be trade offs between the trades compare now that to a fitment where you can absolutely customize and also scale it bigger to match for roles which may not yet have occurred but are going to be there in the future uh, what happens when you look at a role which looks at how efficient are you in fulfilling promises uh, in the role in the role of a firefighter or uh, people who take care of our beaches how would you measure that on the personality scale because uh, more often than not these roles did not exist earlier so as the these roles have come into uh, practice and i'm sure the future holds out many more roles which you have not seen uh, the scalability becomes limited when you are looking at it from the perspective of uh, a personality test a lot of people uh, go for the thomas test for leadership hiring and uh, the problem is that while it tells you the personality every personality also contains one big problem which is that there are there is the yin and the yang where is which means there is the good side and the bad side these two uh, would mean that while you are looking at those personality traits from the perspective of um, uh, of the role that you have thought of you are not th thinking of uh, the negative part of it like say for example if you are hiring someone who is dominant and you want this person because you want to push your business growth the problem is this is also the person who on a bad day could ensure that most of his team members quit because of uh, rudeness or some uh, of too much of autocratic behavior and finally to leave back uh, that special promise that i talked about uh, at the end what about motivation all these personality profiling test would tell you a lot about the personality but what if someone is not motivated enough to perform for the job role how would you address that hence you can clearly see the the clear differences between a test which is adherent to job role fitment vis-a-vis -vis a personality test which is basically a very generic i hope uh, you have benefited from this session uh, as you can see we have served a huge list of customers not only in india but across the globe and we are very keen uh, to work together with uh, organizations like yours uh, which are very keen to not only find the right person but also ensure that they fit a square peg into a square hole with this have a nice day thank you